An HBCU grad and business owner is seeking solutions to help St. Augustine's University in Raleigh. The school has been in turmoil for months over its accreditation. And WCNC Charlotte's Nick Sturdivant shows us the unique way a supporter wants to keep the university afloat. This is just me preheating my roaster. It takes time. So it's not like you can just like walk away. And... No, oh, wow. it's like honestly like really hard to even like talk and do this like multitasking to get the but right blend. It's like you kind of have to be here. This is an all day task. So we should be hearing first crack within like the next minute at the most. Marcia Cox knew she didn't want to waste time. I just knew I, I would regret if I didn't really lean into like my love for coffee and roasting. And so I decided I just didn't want to go to law school. So after graduating from North Carolina A&T State University, she jumped right in, starting Caldi's Coffee House and Roastery. I officially launched in January of this year. Why coffee? I feel like it's underrepresented in the black community, and I also don't know a lot of black women who roast their own coffee, so I wanted to like chart my own path. And Not only is she charting her own path, but putting time and effort to help an HBCU in need. Because being familiar with the area and like driving past the campus, like I just, and also being an HBCU grad, it really could be any one of our schools. St. Augustine's University in Raleigh is dealing with a financial and accreditation crisis when Marcia heard the news. So something that my dad and I were actually talking about because we are both HBCU grads, so I wanted to just start making roasted coffee for the school because that way I could still tie my passion in for coffee into helping out the community as well. She created the St. Augustine's University inspired 1867 blend with 30% of sales going directly to the school's Falcon Pride Initiative fundraising campaign. I think since I last checked, we've had over like 40 orders and then like some people were placing like multiple items just in that one order. Like I think one person, like we've been shipping as far as California. Uh, over time. Marcia wants to continue to bring awareness to HBCUs. And I'm hoping, like, depending on how much money that I have raised, I can do, like, a price match where I donate some of my money out of my own pocket to, like, just to, the more money, the better, you know. As she continues to perfect the right blend. That's really good. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Nick Sturdivant. That was really good. I think you should try strawberry.